Japan, a land marked by resilience, is under siege once again. A brutal force of nature has ravaged Ishikawa, flooding streets, swallowing homes, and leaving an entire region in darkness. With deadly rains, catastrophic landslides, and a race against time to save the missing, the people of this quake-torn land are forced to confront an unprecedented disaster. It started with a warning, a dire, life-threatening alert from the Japan Meteorological Agency. The people of Ishikawa had already seen their land shaken by a powerful earthquake earlier this year. Now, the skies have unleashed a new terror, record-breaking rains that will not stop until the land can take no more. As over 120 millimeters of rain lashed down in mere hours, rivers, once calm, turned into violent torrents. Twelve rivers in Ishikawa surged over their banks, inundating the towns of Wajima, Suzu, and Noto. The walls of water rushed through homes, businesses, and roads. And in the chaos, at least 44,000 people were forced to flee. In Wajima, where devastation struck hardest, the scenes were nothing short of catastrophic. A street in the city vanished underwater, while rescue workers fought the elements to reach the trapped and missing. Koji Yamamoto, a government official overseeing recovery efforts, revealed a chilling truth. A landslide hit a team of workers who had been repairing quake-damaged roads. For of them disappeared beneath the soil, swallowed by the earth they were trying to rebuild. Rescue attempts to reach these men were halted, as relentless landslides cut off every access point. For others in Ishikawa, the nightmare wasn't over. Entire neighborhoods were ordered to evacuate. Emergency shelters filled with thousands of residents, their eyes wide with fear as the rain kept falling. More than 6,000 homes plunged into darkness without power. Countless more were cut off from basic necessities as water supplies dried up. The government called for mass evacuations, not just in Ishikawa but across neighboring prefectures, Niigata and Yamagata, where another 16,000 people were told to leave their homes. Among the missing were two people swept away by the furious current, their fate still unknown. The terror in the eyes of the survivors is a grim reminder of nature's merciless power. This tragedy comes just months after the Noto Peninsula was left shattered by a devastating earthquake on New Year's Day. The magnitude 7.5 quake claimed 236 lives, toppling homes, destroying roads, and igniting fires that swept through villages. The scars from that day had not yet healed. Roads, barely repaired, are now buried under mudslides. Homes still standing after the quake are now submerged under meters of flood water. The people of Ishikawa find themselves in a constant battle for survival, caught between shifting earth and an unforgiving sky. As forecaster Sugimoto Satoshi warned the nation, this level of rain is unprecedented. Ishikawa is facing a deluge never before seen in the region. The message was clear. The risk to human life was imminent. One person has already lost their life in this catastrophe, and the clock is ticking for seven others who are still missing. As the hours pass,
the toll may rise and the destruction deepens. But Japan is no stranger to disaster. It is a country built on resilience, where communities pull together in the face of adversity. Right now, Ishikawa is depending on the strength of its people and the swift actions of its emergency responders to fight back against nature's wrath. As the rain clouds drift away, the land of Ishikawa will be left in ruins, but the spirit of its people will endure. The coming days will bring a monumental effort to rebuild shattered lives and restore what was lost. Once again, Japan will rise, but at what cost? Stay informed, stay safe, and stay resilient. This is Japan, unshaken, even in the face of destruction. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は